A mystery on the streets of East Hollywood after a striped crosswalk suddenly appeared at a busy residential intersection. The group behind the Do It Yourself project hopes this new paint job will improve safety in that area. KTLA 5 Sandra Mitchell live now in East Hollywood with more on the group's mission. Sandra. Well, Glenn and Lou, people who live near this intersection at Romaine and Serrano say, say that they were really tired of the dangers here. They tell us about trucks barreling through the intersection just as parents pushing babies in strollers or people walking dogs stepped off the curbs. Now, they tell us these uh, crosswalk lines have definitely made things safer around here. But this is not a city authorized project. As first reported by LAist, these white lines were painted by a citizens group. They call themselves Crosswalk Collective LA. The group says when the city won't take action, they will do what it takes to make our streets safer. They told us when they asked the city for help, instead they got delays, excuses, and inaction from our city government, as well as active hostility to safe streets projects from sitting council members. Now, I also talked with a representative from LA Councilman Mitch O'Farrell's office. After all, this is his district. His office said safer streets is a top priority. And since taking office nine years ago, they have, according to Mitch O'Farrell's office, installed or upgraded 500 crosswalks, 100 speed humps, and 250 stop signs. Neighbors are disappointed, though. They say the city couldn't help them at this intersection. There's times where the cars, like, they wouldn't stop. So I'm just like, okay, like, you know, I have a kid. I mean, you should, you know, look both ways. But, I mean, it's good they did that. I'm really grateful for that. I think that maintaining the roads is what our tax dollars go to. And so it should be done by the local government and not by citizens to protect their neighborhood. I also reached out to the LA Department of Transportation and they have not, uh, they have responded to me, but they haven't issued an official statement yet. But there is a possibility because these lines are not up to city code, even though they look very official, they could be painted over. We're live in East Hollywood. I'm Sandra Mitchell, KTLA 5 News. Glenn and Lou, back to you. Sandra, thank you. The East